Hey guys, Ryan Jordan here. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Batman Arkham, uh, not Arkham Asylum, Arkham City Penguin figure. Yes, um, if you guys remember, uh, this guy, who I did a review on, the Bat uh, Batman Arkham Asylum Joker figure that I did a while back, um, I actually had this figure, and now this is actually my second, like, Batman Arkham series figure that I got. The Joker was my, my first one, and then I found the Penguin. Um, so these are technically actually my two favorite Batman villains, the Penguin and the Joker. Um, so, uh, this is a pretty old figure. I had this for a, a, a little bit, um... A little bit shorter than the Joker figure, because, you know, he's the first one. But I had him for a very long time, and you can see that kind of when I'm going through the details. Um, uh, I, uh, thoughts, uh, I think I did a little bit thoughts about Arkham Asylum. Uh, I don't know, but I love Arkham Asylum. It's, like, pretty much the, like, the only game that I actually, like, that I can play, like, over and over again. And it's actually, like, one of the first games that introduced me to video games. I, I used to play, like, a lot of Lego, uh, like, a lot of Lego games. Uh, then Batman Arkham Asylum came around, and I was introduced to a whole new spectrum of video games. Um, uh, I've played Batman Arkham City. Um, I have finished it once. I haven't played it again. Uh, I felt like it was way too open worlds. Uh, I mean, open worlds video games. They're, they're cool and all. And you can have, like, a ton of fun with that, and you can make all your stuff like that. Kind of like GTA V and all those stuff. Like, create your own story, kind of. Um, and you could do side missions and all that. But I feel that Arkham Asylum is way more my type of video game, where it's closed in spaces and all that. And, but, the Penguin in that, even though that he wasn't in it for that much, he was actually a pretty cool character, in my opinion. And it was great to see him actually in, um... The, uh, the game, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to play Batman Arkham City eventually, but Batman Arkham City, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a good game, but it's not as great Arkham Asylum. Um, so yeah, uh, I found this figure, um, uh, the, I found, I have a little toy bin in my room, uh, I have all these random things, um, whatever, so I have this guy, he used to be on my shelf, and then I took him off because I didn't have enough room, so... But the Joker's up there, and uh, I was actually watching uh, Batman Returns with uh, Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Um, if you want, if you really want to know how Danny DeVito looks as the Penguin, just Google Batman Returns Penguin or like that. So yeah, you know, uh, I was watching that movie. I was like, wait, do I have a Penguin figure? And I saw this guy. I was like, yes, I need to do a review on that. I completely forgot to do a review on this figure. So here I am now. So with the details, he. Ah, uh, sorry. I just ate before I did this, so you might hear me burp and all that. Uh, for the details, the Joker here uh, is way better in details than this guy, but, you know, we'll go on later on. But the detail is still pretty good on here. And also, if you're wondering why my review table is not so bright, uh, behind me, uh, behind me, there you, you can see it and when I'm, like, turning around and you can see a light behind me. Um, in my other videos when I'm doing, like, a face cam or whatever. Uh, the light behind me, uh, it burnt out, and there's only, like, one light in here. Uh, the lamp and the other one that I have, uh, there's, like, so that's why it's not as bright. So, sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna have to replace that light soon enough, but, uh, we're gonna have to, f we don't have those light bulbs right now, so we're gonna have to buy some, so. Sorry about that, guys. So, anyway, the detail here. Uh, I do love the detail on the fur, the fur coat, sorry. Uh, it's a lot of gray in there, and, uh, you got, like, a little bit, like, you know, dry brushing. If you don't know what dry brushing is, it's kind of like, you take a, uh, paintbrush, you dip it in a little bit of paint, and then you wipe it on a cloth or tissue or whatever, and then you kind of make those areas pop a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, you can see that there, pretty nice. Um, it kind of, it's, it's a little bit sloppy on camera, but in real life, it's actually a little bit better. I wish it had a little bit more, like, you know, of the gray color, because, um, it kind of doesn't look like fur, it kind of looks like, you know, mess or whatever, but on his actual suit there, that's actually pretty cool. There's his buttons right there for his shirt, you got, like, his little thing, there is a little bit sloppy paint there, but that's okay, and you got more of that, um, more of that fur detail around his coat, 
Then you got these pockets here on the side of them. Uh, this is a kind of, it actually looks like real leather. It's not real leather though. It's just like, you know, flexible. It's, it's like rubber or whatever, but, uh, the things on here, um, they're actually pretty decent and actually being squished in there. It still holds its shape pretty well. Um, but you know, there's the pockets. It doesn't open on the back here. Um, it, these are like, um, these are like, like natural like little tendons and the actual f uh, like material like the rubber so you know you got like actual things from actually for, like bending his arms and all that stuff so you know that's pretty cool then you got this little pattern on the back there very nice um then you have for his arms here you got like the little like the fabric bending at the elbow and you got some other fabric on the bottom uh, these, these figures for Batman Arkham City, they do a great job for detail. Not much as possibility, but for great detail. Um, then you have his hat here, and then on the back here, you got, like, his hair or whatever. Uh, fun fact, this hair, I mean, not, not his hair, his hat, his hat used to come se separately, and his hat came separately, like, out of the box, and it didn't actually come attached to his head, and if you put his hat on, it just falls off. And that's, like, an accessory. But, uh, I glued it on because, you know, you can't have the penguin without his hat, so. Then you got, like, his his nice wrinkles in his face. He's kind of getting, like, the nasty, the, like, he kind of looks like, um, what's that guy? Um, he plays Harry in Home Alone. I, I don't know why he kind of reminds me of that actor. I forgot his name. Uh, but then you have, like, his monocle, which is actually not a monocle. Uh, that's actually, like, a piece of bottle. Like a glass bottle, like coming out of his eye. So I'm guessing that something got shoved in there. So I don't know what happened. I haven't been reading too much into the penguin's backstory in Arkham Asylum, uh, Arkham City. Sorry. And you can see like some blood around there, um, all that. And then you have this thing here, which in the game, I I'm pretty sure that's if you if you Google, go on YouTube, search up Batman, uh, Batman Arkham City penguin. Uh, and you can see his voice, uh, hear his voice, and it, I'm pretty sure that's why his voice is all, like, like that, because that's, like, his voice box or something, I don't know, very nice detail, though, that's pretty cool, uh, you got, like, silver there, it kind of is more, like, cartoony, uh, than other, anything else, but you actually can't see that there's a bottle, like, the little rivets on the bottom, or folds, or whatever, you got the ear, you got the pointy nose, or whatever, surprised that hasn't cracked, because that's, like, really, uh, valuable, so, let's get on to the articulation for the figure. Uh, for articulation, he's got a ball joint at the head. So, you know, he can look up that far, not that far, and he can look down that far. He can barely look up, so he can just look up that far and just straight. Um, then you have a rotation at the arm here. You got it in a really tight in and out joint, and then you have that uh, little rotation there. And uh, then you have his little swivel of the hand there his hand is actually pretty cool um and then you have like you know other thing and also his other hand broke off so you can see that so he just has a, he has a nub there and nothing else at the waist there's like no waist swivel and there's actually no bend in the knee but there is like a little bit you know same with the fabric of the joker you know got that little increase in there so you know that's pretty cool got the nice shoes and everything uh kind of like a little bit like uh, what you call it, like, a little bit shading on the shoes, you can't really see it there, but, you know, he's got some shading in there, that's actually cool, nice blue eyes, though, that's pretty cool, um, so, yeah, that's the, f this is the Penguin Batman Arkham City figure, um, so I hope you guys enjoy this review, so I will see you next time, guys, so, you know, you know, you know the drill, bye, guys.